And welcome to Lawrence Joel Coliseum on campus of Wake Forest University in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. It's the 4A NCHSAA semifinals between the Vikings of Hoggard and the Rams of Rollsville. Hello everybody, I'm Ford Martin. Glad to have you here with us tonight as we get set on our matchup tonight. Just moments ago, Charlotte Catholic took the win over the number one seed of Wataga. And now it's down between Hoggard and Rollsville, the one and two seed to try and advance to Saturday night in their final. And let's go and start with the visiting team of Hoggard here. And it all starts at number 15, Sarah Elgart. Leads the team in rebounds, assists, and blocks. And a force inside the paint that can make plays happen and down low and should be one to watch on that side for the Vikings. Now you look on the other side for the Rams. Here coming out in all black, Caitlin Jones, number five. 23.3 points per game, which is an absurd part with the national record. National average, I should say, is around five points, 5.2 points per game. So a big game for both sides nonetheless. So as we just watch Charlotte Catholic move on, now we see Hoggard and Rollsville, the NCHSAA 4A state semifinals. The stage is set and here we go. We're underway from inside Lawrence Joel Coliseum. The Vikings in Hoggard in white. The Rams of Rollsville in black and red. It's the first meeting between these two teams. Rollsville currently on a four game win streak, but that's nothing compared of the pace the Vikings of Hoggard are on right now on a 20 game win streak. Right now, Caitlin Jones, the, the high flying score, and a three on the way, and a first one to start it out for the Rams. And what a shot from outside. So Leah Lewis will get it going and start it off for the first bucket, being a triple beyond the arc. Stuck from the outside was Graham. That shot is off and no good. Inside caught in trouble and travel is called. Another player that we're trying to mention for that for Rollsville is, as we just mentioned, just made the three point shot just now. 8.9 rebounds per game is Leo Lewis. Lewis kicks out. Inside a hard shot, a hard floater and gets that one to go. And puts out a nice big back at, jump back the other way and gets their first points of the night. Rolls that one up and gets it to go. Nice play there by Fitzgerald. And gives Hoggard their first lead of the night. As we mentioned, first visit, first time these opponents have played off against each other. Rolls obviously from Rolls in North Carolina. Hoggard from Wilmington, North Carolina. Just off the pick and trying to get a hand inside. As Caitlin Jones had a hand on it there, but a whistle and going back the other way. Another look right there by Graham. on her shot, but won't count after that whistle. 5.32 to go in the first period of play inside Lawrence Joel Coliseum for the semifinals for a chance to move on and take on Saturday as that triple rattles out, but to take on Charlotte Catholic on Saturday. And what an action-packed game that was between Matag and Charlotte Catholic. A lot of back and forth down to the wire. That one's taken back the other way. Turnover. Running back up, throws this one up, and can't get it to go. 
on the roll there by Lewis, who had that three-pointer earlier. So 4-3 your score with 4.54 to go. Outside is Jones, back to Lewis. Now the one-two tandem for this team, for Roseville, that's, they've been so effective all season long. Here's Rowe, and had a little trouble. That one was picked off there by Graham, getting a hand inside, calls the turnover. And Shivers shot. Goes out of bounds, and she thought it went off one of the Rams players, but no. So back the other way is Thomas. Thomas back out, kicks out to the right side is Lewis. Spin move, tries to take it back out, 4-11 to play. Hogger holding a one-point lead, 4-3. Lewis, she hit from this time last time. Can't get it to go, just off the iron. Closest one up, a near steal there by Jones. But the Vikings will hold possession here. Skip pass over to the wing. And bounce pass back over to Shivers as she will reset. Bounce pass over to Graham. And good ball moving here by the Vikings to try to get an open lane, here's a shot out from the wing and can't get it to go. And Lewis there on the defensive board. Trying to thread the needle inside, but loses possession, but draws the foul. So a quick substitution right here gives us a quick chance to introduce your head coaches for tonight for the Vikings in Hoggard. Boop Carl for the Vikings. And for the Rams of Roseville, and Nikita Warren. Out for the wing, back out and reset. Gives it to Jones the tri from the triple from the outside. That's Lewis's third three-point attempt. And she's only hit one, which is the first possession of the game that went through. Since then, she's missed her last two. Baseline, dump in, and they'll throw it. And get this back out and reset with Caitlin Jones. Jones now will skip over to Lewis. Lewis for three again. She missed her last three from outside the arc. Shivers. We'll take this one to the point. This off the pick. And back out to Fitzgerald, who will give her teammate a chance. There's a shot on the way. That one's just off the glass, but a foul on the floor. So it tosses one in for the baseline. Call that one on Caitlin Jones, her first. Kick outside. To Elgart with 228 to play. Gets it. Oh, nice pass. And dish inside the back alley. What a play. Inside to Shivers, who is streaked across. Found her inside, going to the basket. And Hoggard now to a three point lead. Kicks it outside. Here's a May had her foot on the line. They're going to say it's a three, and it's going to count. What a play by Ty in a row. Foot was right there close to the line, but they're going to call it the triple. And a tie game between the Rams and Vikings. Shivers, because now cuts to the basket, floats this one up, a little too strong, out of bounds, and it's going to stay with the Vikings here on this end. Just under 90 seconds to play here in this first period. 
in the NCHSAA 4A state semifinals. Charlotte Catholic and Wataga already played earlier. Charlotte Catholic taking the win, so they move on to Saturday. Throws this one out to Shivers, who made that nice move earlier to get to the basket. And this time she'll draw the foul. Taking another look here. Shivers and rolls right, kind of using that speed and acceleration there. Getting to the rim, but will draw the foul, and that'll be the second on Rollsville tonight. Shivers in the three, but it's going the other way. So it's old side at six. With 112 to go. Justice Everett. Everett now handoff give to Lee inside by herself. Trying to go her second three of the night. Can't get it. Offensive rebound going up. And a foul inside the paint. So that's four missed threes in a row for Lewis, who started out her first attempt, got it to go. You see the left of your screen, Charlotte Catholic moved on earlier in the game before. The winner of this game will go on and play them on Saturday. Kayla Bush at the line, gets it to go. Two point lead for Rollsville. Cuts left, just going to the basket and can't get enough on it. Back to the way on transition, thread the needle, back up to the basket, a three on one and lost control of it on the way and they're gonna call her for a traveling a violation. So Rollsville holding on to a two-point lead. Hoggard looking to tie or take the lead. Going to the basket and the rim, too much on it. Taken back the other way. Here comes Everett now, runs in a little bit of trouble as Gardner tried to get a hand inside. Trying to create some space now as Jones and gave it to Bush who nearly lost it. 10 seconds. Outside for three in the corner. Got it! With three seconds to play, two, one. And the half court shot is no good. Rollsville and Hoggard, action packed first period. We'll be right back for more on NFHS Network. You know, I love being local for my customers. It means helping friends and neighbors. The people in this county care about who they walk beside. That's, that's what makes it so good to live here. North Carolina Farm Bureau Insurance. Helping you is what we do best. CHSAA Championship event is brought to you by North Carolina Farm Bureau Insurance. Helping you is what we do best. Welcome back inside Lawrence Joel Coliseum, and take a look at Friday's championships in the NHSSAA. Corvine Wilson Prep, West Rowan, Terry Stanford, Cherokee and East Columbus, and Central Cabarrus in 71st. As those matches take place here tomorrow, exciting and looking forward to that. It should be an exciting one. Holding outside, here's a basket inside low, can't get it to go. Scramble for it inside, they'll finally dish that one out. Jones, under tremendous pressure now from Shivers. And a foul. Oh, they're gonna say her, nope. It's gonna go the other way, so taken back the other way. And Hoggard now looking to close the margin. 
6-11. Your score as we start the second period of play and it appears a quick timeout is called. So quick timeout here by Bukharal. So 30 and one on the season for the Vikings on a 20 game win streak. Trying to have that continue all the way into Saturday and advance it. And the Vikings is trying to get their wits about them now so far as a couple mistakes on offense and the Rams have been rolling. A couple three point jumpers from the outside. So a timeout coming out of this one here. Here's joining us, Hoggard in white, Rollsville in black. And they'll toss it in. Shivers will set up shop here and draw it up. Kicks it back out. Over to Shivers. It takes her time, bounce pass over, a wide open three look, and can't get it to go. Just off the point. And it will go on the possession of Rollsville. The possession arrow is in their favor currently. Everett. Let's get past inside, a long three, a long two on the way that is, and puts it in. What a shot there by Cameron Lee. Extends the lead once again for Rollsville. Shivers now inside. Baseline shot. That one just falls out. Back to the way for the Rams. Pass back over in the corner. No cuts left. Ever inside and gets it to go. Kayla Bush. Once again. Six oh six to go. Fifteen six. Rollsville starting to pull away on a nine oh run. That one's broken up, able to keep it on their side, so it's deflected, so it's not a backcourt violation here inside. And that one looks like it's gonna go just off the hands inside by Lee. And the Vikings will still hold possession. But a nice play there by Lee getting her hand inside and knocking that one out of bounds. So Shivers now will toss it in. Wide up and look from the corner for three. Got it! A chance there for three. That stops the run for Rollsville. And a high floater, rainbow shot off the mark, down inside, all alone was Kayla Bush, now outside for three. And that's off. A couple offensive, good offensive rebounds so far in the early going for the Rams. Now the Vikings, what can they do? Can they go back to back on threes? No. Taken again there by chance, He's trying to go back to back. Another high floater shot, which we're starting to see a lot of that from Caitlin Jones, those little high rainbow shots. Charge of the rim, and can't get it to go, but it will set her the free throw line for a couple free throws. On the drive to the basket by Tristan Shivers. Taking a look. Had a fake pass outside like she was gonna give it the chance. Instead took it to the basket herself. Draws the foul, and I'll center the line for a couple free throws. Shivers with 14.1 points per game. The sophomore point guard out of Wilmington. Taking a look there at Boop Carl. And got it. Now within five. 4.48 to play. Lewis. Wide open look for three. Just off. Defensive board taken up there by Fitzgerald. And she'll hand it off to her partner in Shivers. 
Who shivers this time, bounce passes inside the paint, tries to go up, and fouled en route. Avery Fitzgerald, and now send her to the line. Zigzag play there by Shivers, who drew the attention inside. And this left Avery Fitzgerald all alone by herself down inside and went up for the shot and draws a foul and makes her first of two free throws. Got it. So two for two. And the margin is now within three. And a quick timeout. A full one, so we'll keep it here. In the NCHS AA State Semifinals, 4.28 to go, Rollsville 15, Hogger 12. As a reminder, Charlotte Catholic in the previous game moved on in an action-packed game that was with Wataga. The one seed and the three seeds. So the one seed in their respective bracket goes down. The three seed of Charlotte Catholic will move on. Now look so far right now, Rolls are shooting pretty much even with Hoggard right now, 27% from the field. And pretty much on pace right now for three point percentage. Rolls now has the edge at 30 to 20. With the offensive rebounds, how we mentioned for Rolls will get those second chance opportunities. Five to two over Hoggard. So both players will make their way to the court. Now setting up. Rowe will hold, skip pass back over, finds Lee for three, got it. Cameron Lee, the 6-0 junior forward. Taking it from downtown. Now here's a three in the corner this time, and she's got it. What you could do, I could do better. And Avery Fitzgerald buries a three in the corner to get it back in a one possession game. Back to back threes there. Here's Lee from the elbow. Offensive rebound inside and gets it to go. And as we mentioned there, during that timeout, second chance points and rebounds. And Here's another three on the way. By chance, that one's off. Taken back alone down inside by herself. And Taylor Rowe puts it in. A lot of back and forth action here. And a whistle. So Vukar has seen enough and tries to give his ladies a break. But how about this? been a three-point competition so far. Chance with a three. And then over here right there, which we did not expect, Cameron Lee from outside the arc. And then back over for Fitzgerald on the dish from Chance. And buries that one. So a lot of turned to a mini three-point competition here as of late. With 3.21 to go. So Hoggard trying to look at a close the margin here as Rollsville has extended their lead to 22 to 15. Cameron Lee will set up to Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald now dish it back outside for Chance. And over to Shivers to reset. 2.57 to go. Chance has already hit from here at one point and just off, off the hands of Fitzgerald, out of bounds. And he'll go in the direction of the Rams. To Rollsville High School. Looking to extend their lead here before we go to the break. Here's a shot and a high floater once again by Caitlin Jones and a jump ball inside the paint. 
and possession of Roseville. So though they have the possession arrow in their favor. Jones back out the corner on the, on the wing. That one rattles out. And another jump ball, back-to-back -back jump balls inside the paint as Kayla Bush try to get a hand inside. But a tie-up. And now Rose will have the possession arrow back in their favor. Trying to close the margin here. At seven, here's Chance over to Fitzgerald. To Shivers. Shivers now on the pick from a partner from Elgart and a traveling violation is called. She's Shivers here. And just a little hesitant right there on that pass. And another turnover from Auger. Skip pass back over, just catching it there was Kayla Bush. Skip pass back over to Rowe. And another one back the other way. So traveling violation is called. Too many unforced turnovers here. In the later part of the first half, 144 to go. Skip pass way over and a high flying lob over and this will end up being a backcourt violation, but lets it go out of bounds. Well, shivers, and now Rose will hold on to it. Checking in for Hogger, number 33, Ella Jones. So Ella Jones now will check into the game and dishes one back out and gives it over to Caitlin Jones. Row back to Jones at the point. 122 to go. Cuts left to try to thread the needle now. Now Bush, back over for Lee, ran into a wall. Didn't like what she saw, picked off down the other way. Taken up here by Graham. Graham now takes it up, and did she have her foot on the line? Yes. Foot just on the line there with 1.02 to go. 22-15 your score. In the NCHSAA 4A state semifinals here at Lawrence Goal. Coliseum on campus of Wake Forest University in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Joining us here on the NFHS Network. And just too strong on the pass there by Kayla Bush with 43 to play. We'll see what they draw up right here. Shivers now. Goes left, dishes it back outside. Hands to her partner there in Graham. And going back the other way, another traveling violation is called. As a fourth traveling violation that's been called here in the last two and a half minutes. Jones now. Let's see if they get the last shot. Jones now. Back out in the corner for three. Just off the mark. Offensive rebound with two seconds. One. And that is going to do it. That three will not count as that came too late. But that's going to do it for the first half of play. It's all Rollsville and the Rams. The two and one seed. We'll be right back for second half action. counties in North Carolina, we have over 800 agents. We are within the communities and our job is to help you. It's, it's not just a business relationship, it's a friendship. 
North Carolina Farm Bureau Insurance. Helping you is what we do best. This presentation of the NFHS Network is brought to you by Uber Teen Accounts. Introducing an Uber account for your teenager. Visit uber.com slash teens to learn more.
You know, I love being local for my customers. It means helping friends and neighbors. The people in this county care about who they walk beside. That's, that's what makes it so good to live here. North Carolina Farm Bureau Insurance. Helping you is what we do best. The HSAA Championship event is brought to you by North Carolina Farm Bureau Insurance. Helping you is what we do best. Back inside Lawrence Joel Coliseum and an action-packed first half that we saw early on between the Vikings and the Rams and had a little bit of a, a three-point competition there going for a little bit. And it ends up having Rolls will start to pull away. And a big basket as they have taken command of this one. Really potential. The start of this one. A couple threes outside as we saw Chance had a couple few. Players like Taylor Rowe, Kalen Jones, Leah Lewis. Those are a few. So when it comes to points, leading point score for Roseville, Kayla Bush at six, Avery Fitzgerald at seven. So as we get set up, 22-15 is your score at halftime. And it starts out pretty much just like the first half started out with a three from Rosal. This time it's Caitlin Jones. Caitlin Jones, a big triple from the outside, and it extends the lead, 25-15, their biggest of the day. And that one's tipped. That was just too far in front there for Shivers. Hold on here to the, on the wing and reset. Back up again with Jones. Jones will send back over, lob it over to find Lee. And Jones now will set up, trying to get some space. Fake shot back out the corner for Bush for three. That one's just off. Nearly handed side right there on Shivers. You almost let that get inside. Hands on outside, Fitzgerald. Shivers inside, all alone by herself. And a foul inside the paint. As we go and send her to the line. And a cross court pass and a high dump in. So now let's send Elgert to the line. One of our players to watch. 8.5 rebounds per game. Leads the team in rebounds, assists, blocks. Only one having up on her is Tristan Shivers at 14.1 points per game. Cut inside, basket down inside. Oh, nice dish inside the paint and gets it to go. What a play. Lay Lewis inside. Cross court pass again. That one's picked off. Taken out there by Jones. Jones will just take her time, cuts back left and right, and try to extend the lead to their biggest of the day. Outside is Rowe, and once again, setting back up is Jones. There is. Got a little too close there, Shivers. You got a hand inside. Didn't capitalize off of it, though. Jones happy to, to take her time here. No rush for this Rosal team. Wait for something to open as Rowe sends it back out to Jones. Jones will go left. Her shot high up in the air and off the front of the rim. Goes out of bounds and... It will stay here with the Rams. Yeah. 
27-17, 5.24 to go. Kicks it out, finds Jones. Long possession here for Rollsville. Here's a three on the way. Got it! So after all that and the long possession, chewing up clock, ends up being a triple. Huge basket by Rollsville. Shot on the way, not there, and fouled on route on the shot. So first of two free throws is good there by Elger. So Sarah Elger, the senior shooting guard. And her second free throw is good. So two for two there. Gets it within 11. High floater shot again, and we've seen that a lot so far today by Caitlin Jones. Gets right up and out, just on the outside part of the paint. And Chance will throw that back outside, and just holding it in bounds there was Graham. Outside for three is Graham for three. Got it! To Yaya Graham for three in the corner. Gets it to go. Gets some margin than eight. Back the other way once again to the rim. And got it. A short 5-0 run here for Hogger. And that's exactly what they needed to try and get back into this one. Four oh five to go. That's at the halfway point in the third period. Shivers inside all alone. Was Fitzgerald, dishes it back outside a chance and resets. Fitzgerald now for three. God. Oh no, just right off the rim. Looked like that one was going to go in. And that one goes out of bounds and a timeout is called. So, so far, they're trying to get back into this one, a little bit of a short run. And all that's been thanks to the field goal percentage here by Rolls will allow them to kind of get away. 32 to, to 26, Rolls will over Hoggard. And her fans, tomorrow, championship games. From the boys 1A, all the way up to the, the boys 3A tomorrow night, 71st and Sutra Barris at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So a couple stats looking for you right now. Rollsville remains perfect from the Magic Strip, 100 to Hoggard 75%. And the rebounds, Rollsville at 20 to 11. Offensive rebounds is something where Rollsville is really dominating on the floor, eight to two on offensive rebounds. So the opportunity for a second chance points. Kicks outside Fitzgerald. Streaking across in there is Elgert. And she's fouled inside. Dishes it out there and who finds Elgert. And got it. Elgar there puts that one in and a second or two after a quick substitution coming in as Taylor Rowe will now join in on the action. She checks in. In her place of Kayla Bush. Goes two for two, and at one point, a 12-point game is now down to four. With 3.14 to play. And a whistle. As her shot on route is blocked. 
And this will go ahead and send Cameron Lee to the line. Remember, she had that big three earlier in the first half. And got it. And got it. Loops it over and throws it over. Good ball movement out here on the beyond the arc. But still a little too close to each other there in the corner where looks to be a little miscommunication. Either way, the Vikings will hold on to it for now. Throws it back out. Thought about it. Thought better of it. Shivers for Graham, and they'll go ahead and reset once again back out with Shivers, who lobs it over right into the Hoggard bench. To so Roseville, after the margin, getting within four, back out to six, and uh, opportunity to extend their lead even further, and it could start with its three right here, but that one just goes off too strong. On that shot there taken by Everett. Still looking for her first three of the night. Kicks out, and that might, yeah, they're gonna say it was deflected, but does it matter, going back the other way. Oh, how about the hustle from Caitlin Jones after it was deflected, going back there and running it. Fitzgerald couldn't get there in time. And she gets to go to the free throw line for a possible three-point play. How about the hustle from Caitlin Jones? So this will go ahead and send her to the free throw line. So two minutes to play. Got it. So 35-26, a nine-point lead with 1.47 to play here in the third period. That one's juggled inside, kicks it back out, trying to get a hand on it with Shivers. Instead, it's going to be lobbed up high in the air, and it's who else? Caitlin Jones. And a timeout is called by Booth Carl. He's seen enough. He's probably tired of seeing enough of Caitlin Jones making plays like that happen. Zigzagging left and right. And definitely a different looking type of shot. How she has lifting that high up in the air and a nice rainbow shot puts it to go. And it extends the lead even further. So 37, 26 your score, 135 to play. Now look here at the three point percentage. Rolls was four for 13, they're not afraid to take a shot. Hoggard is two for seven, and that's been the biggest one of them all. Defensive rebounds though, Hoggard has got back in that department to tie that. They're at 12 each. And puts it at 37-26 right here. So we'll see what Hoggard can draw coming out of that timeout there by all. Stolen again. Taken out by Jones. Jones in the basket. Can't get it to go. Second chance opportunity and puts it through. Nice play there by Rowe. So Shivers now off the turnover. 
And just a minute and a half ago, it was down to four. Now out to 13. And a whistle out of bounds. And it goes back into possession of the Rams. The Rams, the two seed. Hoggard, the one. Cuts right, dishes back outside, but for three, off the iron. Shivers now will spin move out of it. Skip pass back over Fitzgerald now for three. Got it. Nice shot there by Fitzgerald to cut the margin at 10. Hold right, trying to keep it going is Rowe. Oh, a near turnover, but just in time, Caitlin Jones arrives and keeps that one for going out of bounds. Three seconds to shoot. Can't beat the buzzer. And that will do it for the third period. One period to go, eight minutes to the side. Who moves on and plays Charlotte Catholic? We'll be right back. counties in North Carolina we have over 800 agents. We are within the communities and our job is to help you. It's, it's not just a business relationship, it's a friendship. North Carolina Farm Bureau Insurance. Helping you is what we do best. This presentation of the NFHS Network is brought to you by Uber Teen Accounts. Introducing an Uber account for your teenager. Visit uber.com slash teens to learn more. Back inside Lawrence Joel Coliseum here on campus of Wake Forest University in Winston-Salem, North Carolina for the NCHSAA North Carolina High School Championships. 39-29, eight minutes to decide who move on and play Charlotte Catholic. Hoggard. with a big possession here to try and cut the margin. Fitzgerald in the corner. And they'll go back out and reset here as Ella Jones and Shivers now will take out at point. Inside, all alone by herself. Oh, what a dish inside, couldn't finish it. And there on the defensive rebound, battle for it. And a jump ball is called in possession of Roseville. So now the Rams will take over. But still a nice dish inside by Shivers to go and find her by herself. Just could not finish on the basket inside the paint. That's something where really that the Vikings have been struggling in here tonight. Right from the right elbow. Thought better of it, sends it back out to Caitlin Jones. Who's really been one of your players of the game. Tries to hold that one from falling down. Dishes it back outside for three. That one's too strong there by Lewis. Offensive rebound. Thought about it for a second was Jones. She'll dish it back over, finds Rowe. Rowe cut left right from the magic strip line and can't get it to go. Trying to keep it inbounds, does, but falls to the ground. Nice hustle there by Lewis. The Vikings take over. Fitzgerald just, she moved her feet a little too much. It's like Shivers let her too strong inside and just out of reach. was Fitzgerald, and now it's 6.33 to play. Roseville, after the nice hustle in the last few possessions, offensive rebounds, they weren't able to capitalize, but still, second chance, offensive rebounds have been key for this team, and that one's blocked en route on the shot there by Lee, and a whistle is called. See it right there. 
on the reach in. There by Lee. Outside and out of bounds. So 6.06 to go inside Lawrence Joel Coliseum. Outside there for three. That one rolls out. Taken out there by Lewis. And Jones now as Rosal just taking their time. No points here in this fourth period just yet. Bush back to Lewis. Lewis over to Rowe. Rowe now cuts right and resets with Lewis. Taking their time. They are in no rush. Holding on to a 10 point lead with Jones and see Jones is intentionally fouled. And they're gonna call that one there on Shivers. So Shivers there will cause the foul with center six, five, 16 to play. Charlotte Catholic moved on the previous game. If you're just joining us, they took on a Big win against Wataga. Couple of fans here join us now. The next game coming up. Hanover, New Hanover, and Richmond. The next game coming up right here on the NFHS Network. I'm Ford Martin. Glad to have you here with us tonight. So look right here on Friday for tomorrow, a couple of the championship games that are coming up. One to watch is at Central Cabrera's 71st game at 8.30. So looking forward to that one. You can tune in there on the NFHS Network for tomorrow. But right here is the NCHS AA 4A State Semifinals to move on to the championship game. They'll reset for Rowe, back out for Jones. Five to play. Thought about it for a second was Lewis, and they'll send it up and puts it in. It sends the lead, and now at 12. And Holden just taking their time here, 440 to play. Lobs it back over. Shivers. That's out for three. And just off the iron, they'll take it up and hold it now again. Nearly stolen away there. As Lee got a hand on it, skip pass just out of the reach. Now for three in the corner. That one's off on the shot there by Jones. Defensive rebound now. We'll see what the Vikings start to do. The Vikings riding a 20 game win streak. It's now facing unknown territory. Being behind by 12 with 4.02 to play. Kayla Jones. Kaylin Jones now gets it back over. Wide open for three in the corner. Got it. And that is the exclamation point so far on the night by Leah Lewis. Extending the lead even more for Roseville. Battle for it. Stolen back the other way is Jones. And Jones puts it in. On transition. 
And Caitlin Jones, 16 point lead. It's been all Roseville since the get go and trying to get a hand on inside, but it's too much contact there by Jones. That's Jones the second and the second team foul. Throws it over all alone by herself in the corner. That one's off. And defensive rebound by Cameron Lee. Jones now will take up point with 2.51 to go and <laughs> try to take their time. Rowe, nearly a, a walk there, got away with that one, it appears. Jones now kicks it back out to Rowe and had a wide open three, chose not to take it, just to keep holding possession. We'll see what the Vikings try and do here to see if they start intentionally fouling or if we'll see what they end up doing. Rowe. And finally, a reach in with 2.06 to play as Roseville is just taking their time, taking the, toss the ball around and still not in the bonus yet. So no free throws as of right now, unless obviously it's a day. shooting foul. That one just holds in. The Vikings will hold it. And they need points and they need a big strike. Inside, lost it, and it's going to go the other way. And as you saw it right there, Elgert doesn't like that call. And what do we got here? We got a whistle. So there's a substitution. And right there with the minute 56 to play. Outside. And we'll hold it here on the wing, and just pretty much taking their time here. Here's Everett. Holds it back over. That one nearly goes out of bounds. And they hold it just a time there. So now Rolls will hold it, and Rowe will toss it in. Rowe launches it back outside. And Rowe will hold. 125 to go, 125 away from a championship game with Charlotte Catholic, a lot of addition back and forth. And it's really been Rollsville since the beginning. The fans up on their feet, knowing they're about to move on to the championship game. Row back to Jones, letting this final minute of play go. Kicks it back out. And finally a whistle and an intentional foul there by Shivers. So 44.2 to go. They'll launch this one inside. This is a backcourt violation. No but a foul is called with 40.4 to go. On that reach in here and a, a stoppage. So Caitlin Jones up to the line, a 5'8", junior point guard. Jones on the day. It's had a big game. 10 points. Row her partner also with 10. And a couple of big substitutions coming in, opportunity to kind of give a couple of the rolls will bench an opportunity to, to get in the game. And what a big win this is for Nikita Warren in a 30 second timeout is called. But Nikita Warren and this team look to be 
Moving on. As Rose Hole with the lead, 47-29. Field goal percentage here, a couple of the stats for tonight's game. Roseville at 38.6 to Hoggers, 27 from the field. Three point percentage, Roseville pretty much even. On top of Hogger, 30 to 28. Only one lead change. And that was in the first two possessions of the game. Since then, it's been all Roseville from the get go. They've led just about just over 80% of this game. Hogger only held the lead for about a total of four minutes. So with 32 seconds left, a shot from the corner. Got it! On a nice shot there by Chance. And stolen away, taken up by Shivers and puts it in. And a quick is it a substitution or is it a 30 second timeout? Looks to be a yeah, quick timeout. And a full with 14.9 remaining. And see right there, Luke Carl taking his time with his team. Proud of the effort they've given all season long. So, Rollsville now will move on and play Charlotte Catholic on Saturday. And that will end the 20 game win streak for the Vikings. With three seconds, two, one, and that will do it. Rollsville will move on to the championship game to take on Charlotte Catholic. The two seed and the three seed will play on Saturday. They take the win, 47-34. And the Rams on top, and there is your player of the game, Caitlin Jones. The Uber Teen Accounts player of the game with 10 points on the night. A big game by her to really, she was one of our players to watch, and she was the player of the game. Rollsville takes the win, 47-34 from our entire team here. Game number three coming up next here on the NFHS Network. New Hanover and Richmond coming up next, but for our entire team, I'm Ford Martin saying goodnight. Roseville moves on 47-34.